Hey, what's going on everybody? So today I'm here to show you how to clean your engine bay quickly, efficiently, and you know, just the best way. Um, I work for a car dealership, so I do this every day. I've never had a single issue. So yeah, let's get started. A lot of people say this is the wrong way. A lot of people say not to use a pressure washer. That is what I'm going to use. Um, you know, but I don't shoot it close up. You just want to keep a good distance back and uh, yeah, so here we go. All right, so the first thing first is you want to make sure you get, get rid of all the loose debris and everything inside the engine bay. Um, as you see, pine straw. So I'm gonna just kind of get that out the best I can. If not, it'll be all right. We'll just pressure wash it out and no harm there. Um, and you can see uh, this thing's really dirty. So, you yeah. know, so once you get rid of all the loose debris, we're gonna start spraying a lot of degreaser. I use Red Max made by Majestic Solutions. Um, it's just a general degreaser. Uh, I'm sure there's other brands that sell it, but yeah. So here we go. I'm gonna show you what you wanna do first. All right, so one more thing before we get started is you do, if your car is older, or if you have exposed electronics such as, you know, maybe you got like, um, I don't know, you got subs wired up, something like that. Um, I would probably find a way to cover that or just don't spray directly at it. Um, not really sure what it could do, but probably nothing good. Um, so just find a way to cover it. Also, another thing is if you have a cold air intake, which this is not a cold air intake, but if you did, you don't want to spray directly into it just because you could, you know, you don't want to suck in water, hydrolock your motor. Uh, that would not be good. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, if you do have an older car, I would be careful spraying near the spark plugs, the fuse box, any of that stuff. You might want to bag it up. Um, I use like trash bag or like, um, you know, grocery store bags, whatever. Um, but for these newer cars, like this one right here in particular, the Mazda, um you know it's fairly new uh there should be no issues i do these at least 10 of these a day not mazda but fords mostly and never had a single issue uh at my other dealership that I worked at we would do it with the car on so it doesn't really matter if the car's on or off i prefer to work with it off because it'll steam up and stuff if it's on so i would turn the car off um, you don't have to let it cool, but probably not a bad idea. So it, you know, it doesn't start steaming up and stuff and possibly damage the rubbers and stuff like that. So let it cool off. Um, no, yep. Yeah, that's about it as far as the prep work. So this car, I'm not going to cover anything. Um, but here we go. All right, guys. So here's my degreaser. Yeah, it's a big thing, but this is called Red Max degreaser. And pretty much I'm going to put it everywhere. The, the hood, engine, everywhere. So here we go. Uh, nice and wet. We use this thing just because we use it a ton. We use it on all the wheels. Um, all up in there. Good. All up here. Yep. Yeah. That's nice and wet. Think about everything. So from here, you can either scrub it or not scrub it. We never scrub it. Uh, in this video, I am going to scrub it. So first, yeah, let's scrub it. All right, so I'm back with my scrubber. I'm just gonna kind of loosen up all the dirt. Just kind of go out throughout the engine here. Not loosen up, it's really dirty. Just do what you can. The power washer and the degreaser will get most of it. I mean, like I said, we never even use it. Scrubber. This is way too big, honestly. You probably want something a little smaller to get in a smaller area, especially if it's a show car or something like that. I'll just put it very good here. Okay. All right. The next step is just to power wash it off. Alright guys, so for this next step, I can't really talk during it because the power washer is pretty loud. Um, but, you know, you can see it's wet everywhere. 
Uh, I got everything scrubbed as best I could. Uh, it doesn't have to be perfect. I was just going to get power washed anyways. So I'm not going to get super close with the power wash. I'm going to be careful around the battery. Um, over here where all these you know, this wiring and stuff is. Well, here we go. So I just finished up power washing the motor. It looks pretty good to me. Uh, it's not gonna be perfect, obviously. Uh, once you once it dries up, you'll be able to see where you missed. Right now, it looks amazing, you know. Um, compared to before, it was filthy. Uh, step we take here at the dealership is we'll sometimes sp spray poly, which is like an armor. It just makes it shine. I personally like it, but you know not be good for the plastic yeah you know, it's up to you if you want that pop it would make it look amazing you know when you go to a dealership and they pop the engine on a 1990 corolla and it's shining that's what they do is they wash it put the degreaser on there and everything wash it off and they spray this poly or whatever um you know tire shine whatever you want under there so that's that's pretty much it guys i don't dry it off you know it's fine you can crank it up go you may hear the belt squeal a little bit if you spray poly or if it's just wet still. Um, but it should go away within a few seconds and you're good to go after that. Um, that's pretty much it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's pretty basic and I really don't know what to say. Um, I wish I knew about this. I was always nervous doing this myself. But when I, went, I started working here, we do it to every single car that comes in here. And it, it truly works. Um, everybody's always super impressed. I did my uncle's car. It was, uh, it was like an 05 Yukon, never been washed before. It came out sparkling. So try it out. Um, if you got an old car, like I said, be careful. And if you have a newer car and you're still you know nervous, you know, put a bag around it. Um, especially if you have an intake. I did my dad's car, had a cold air intake. I put a plastic bag around it to make sure but yeah that's pretty much it guys if you have any questions um just comment down below please like subscribe i'm really trying to make some more videos i've been super busy with work i'm about to be going back to school so i'm doing my best but you know i'm gonna do my best to, oh, i keep on saying best but i'm gonna do my best to put out more content all right guys hope you have a good day bye